Hi, Alex here from Rebeloper.com and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to this epic tutorial series on DuckUI, Swift UI in UI Quit. Well, kind of. And today we are going to talk about lines. So let's jump right into the code. Okay, well, lines are kind of an overlooked uh, uh, UI element, but they are really cumbersome to make and uh, tedious to update and so on. So uh, today we are going to talk about a DuckUI's line. And uh, let me just show you how easy it is. In the previous video, I have been uh, talking about um, uh, shadows with corner radiuses, and we have been creating a kind of um, let's say a profile image view that is a circle and also has a shadow. So that with the help of the SC image view. Let me just build and run because we are going to build upon that. So yeah, uh, let's see. Here we have our uh, let's say profile image view and I would like to add in here. Uh, let me just make this a little bit smaller and then I just want to add in here a line and that will be a vertical line and maybe add some label here with a text. I don't know. First of all, let me just uh, downsize this to maybe half of it or maybe let it be just uh, 20 the corner radius and 40 the width and height of our image view and then let's just create a new label like let name label and uh, that would be a UI label and uh, let's add in here some font uh, real quickly bold system type font of let's say 60 or 70 I just type in 70 that is pretty great and um, yeah I believe the color is black but if not then we will change it and let's add right here a text uh, of Bender. Okay and uh, while we are here let's grab our name label and just add it right before our image view. Okay let's see how that looks for, for now okay and after that we will talk about lights. Yeah you can see it's it's there but it's not quite there i don't know if you can see that i, I will most probably make this a little bit larger so we can see uh, 40 80 80 you uh, could have this uh, let's have this 23 well you most probably will have more detailed views and you will use the old one but just so we can see okay so here we have our UI image view, uh, well, BSC image view and our label. So uh, we want to add their uh, line and what we do is just, just create a line. So let's add it here. So that is a vertical line and the line. And if you uh, take a look at it, we can have a type and we have two types horizontal or vertical that is great thickness um, let's have it 1.5 and the color let's use the color again take a look at the color I, I always talk about these uh, new kind of stuff because uh, I, I like to use them and they are all part of duck UI and I have separate videos on that so I have already covered the color in the previous video so go ahead and take a look at that uh, let me just have this maybe maybe gray gray five okay that should look fine we will take a look at it and we will see okay let's add our vertical line right between our name label and image view and again this is how easy it is to just add that to our horizontal stack okay let's just wait there here we go we have a vertical line maybe maybe the gray five is kind of kind of harsh let's use maybe light maybe then run again i would like to have that subtle light yeah there we go it's much better uh, and uh, uh, let's pump it up a little bit gray too 
And uh, yeah, so there we go, we have it. Now we need to add some insets to it because they are all sticked together there. So let's do that. And that is pretty simple with the help of layoutless, of course. With the vertical line, just add in here, inset and uh, insetting. I will use the one with the UI edge insets. You could use insetting left, right, by, and so on, but I really prefer this one. And I just add in here, UI edge insets, and then for the top, let's have an inset of, let's say six, left, 12, bottom, again, six, right, 12. Again, this, this is kind of arbitrary, but it kind of will look good in my opinion. Let's see, let's see how it looks. Yeah, it kind of looks good. Uh, let's have a little bit more at the right and left and let's push it a little bit down. So, and to the top. So uh, let's have 12 here, 24, 12 and 24. And again, this is just me tweaking. It, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, it looks much, much better. Maybe a little bit to the top again. Let's say 24, 24. And on the right, I will give it back to 12 because I want to have that label sticking a little bit further, um, closer to. Yeah, it, it looks really, really good. Now, finally, let's add um, a horizontal label here, a line, sorry. So let's create that and we will finish off this tutorial with that. So horizontal line, okay. And again, this is a D line and uh, let's choose our horizontal thickness. 1.5 is okay. And uh, I will choose the same color, okay. And this horizontal line needs to be added under our stack, our horizontal stack here. So yeah, let's just add that in there. And um, let's add some inserting wire here. So inserting, uh, and I will use this by because I want to have insets of 12 on all, on all, uh, all of the frame of our, all of the sides. Okay. Yeah, looks pretty great. Okay, now that is it for lines and this can be used in various of sizes, uh, thicknesses, sorry. And uh, yeah, they can cover a lot of UI. Uh, yeah, that is for lines. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you did. If you did enjoy this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell to get notified of new videos because in the next video, we are going to talk about some interesting things about styling. Okay, and as usual, I will see you in the next one.